Hello, this is Nancy Marion, that's me, with Remax Real Estate Concepts. I'm here to give you a tour of 2526 Kellogg Avenue in Ames, Iowa, listed for sale at 2549. We just begun showings on this property. And if you know the North Northeast Ames neighborhood, you'll know this is within a few minutes walk of North Grand Mall and the Skunk River Greenbelt and very close to Ada Hayden Heritage Park. The first thing that may strike you here is a new front walk with an enlarged area there to the side of the house, buried downspouts, new fiberboard cement siding, new lighting, and also new windows, which we'll see more of on the interior, and a new front storm door. The home was in very um, outdated poor repair when they bought it and they did almost an entire remodel up and down they put in all new basement finish downstairs and set in new tile flooring here did a brand new kitchen with eating bar under cabinet lighting oak flooring new doors new windows and painted trim you'll see a nice fan here in the eating area, oak floors in the living room. This is a very large living room that's very open to the kitchen and dining area. And we have a new access door to the backyard with a new stone patio pre-wired for lighting and a concrete patio back here. New retaining walls, new plantings, new privacy fence, new storage shed, raised garden beds, and updated mechanicals, furnace, air conditioning, sump pump, water heater. This home is basically turnkey and is an excellent value here in the city of Ames. Heading back toward the bathrooms, there's a double storage closet. The bath has been renovated with a new counter, faucet, lighting, painted cabinetry, tile floors, and new tile surround, as well as a main floor laundry with new washer dryer and also a clothes chute there in the back. So it's a very lovely hall bath. We have three bedrooms on the main floor. And we have new carpet. Gives you another look at the new windows and new closet doors and new entry doors to the bedrooms as well. Paint is in generally good condition. This is the second bedroom. And then we have the master bedroom. This is quite large. Would easily fit a king bed. We've got south and west facing windows, double closets, and the master bath. All new. Again, tile floors, toilet, sink, faucet, cabinetry, lighting, and a brand new walk-in tiled shower that you really don't need a door on because it's got enough space to not have one. We'll take another quick look at the rest of the main floor here and then I'll take you downstairs to the basement. Pantry cabinet there on the left, really good storage. Actually, while I'm here, I might just show you the garage. It's a big two car garage with a door to the front, which is very convenient. Windows for lighting on both sides, and also another door to the backyard. We also have a new um, attic storage space up there 
Two remote openers, of course. It's a very nice garage. Walking down the stairs, you'll see something very lovely here, which is a tiled wall and wrought iron rail going down the stairs. A new cover for our breaker panel. We have an entirely new service and panel in this home as well. They created a wet bar and they also created some really nice built-in storage here under the stairs. This was all custom done woodwork by the owner and it's very well done so we've got just a lot of storage there. So the wet bar has some cabinets, sink, uh, tile backsplash, and a full-size refrigerator. I'll give you another look just at one of the storage closets there. And then this shows you how lovely the wrought iron rail and the tile work is. So when the owner finished the basement, it was all done properly with a vapor barrier, 2x4 stud walls, and insulation. You'll see a lot of recessed lights and flush mount lights. It takes six switches, I think, to turn all this on. The basement windows were newly trimmed out with oak, and they are also new basement windows as well. There's a great little built-in here for equipment for your TV. And there is a built-in fish tank, which they would really love it if the new owner would also love this too, but they'll be happy to remove it and fix the wall if the new owner doesn't want it. The other half of this main floor basement or lower level basement has um, a daylight window, again new window, and lots of extra room here for whatever hobbies, crafts, or uh, things you would like to do in the home. There's a fourth bedroom down here which is very large. New lighting, new windows, new carpet, just everything all brand new since they took ownership. And we have a fabulous third bath down here. Lots of tile work, built-in closet, new window, new lighting, sink, counter, cabinetry, toilet, and a big jetted tub. The last thing I'm going to show you is the mechanical room. It is the sort of staging area to get this home ready for sale, so it's not exactly picked up, but there's value here in showing you a couple of things. The newer furnace, um, the sump pump, which goes out 